Today I'm going to spend some time reviewing the Van Pad sticky notes. I purchased these sticky notes for one reason and that was to use in my planner. And so I wanted to see if uh, these would work for me. I thought the price was economical. It had a nice variety of colors. So the only thing that I, that I needed to know now is if the adhesion was good and if when I printed uh, my templates, I would get the results that I'm looking for. So you have a nice variety of colors here. I like the selection. Um, normally I like more of a pastel, but I, I will see because these I think are going to catch my attention with the brightness of the colors. So the first thing I noticed when I took it out of the package is that the lime colored one had already separated from its backing and um, one sheet had slid out. What I'm going to do is to stick, make this the first one I use on my uh, printing template. So I put down the first set of sticky notes that I'm going to uh, print on. And in my printer, I have to put it down face down because it pulls my paper up this way to print. So it's very important to me that the sticky notes I use have good, cohe good cohesion, have uh, good adhesion. So because I don't want them to get stuck in my printer because that's a nightmare to get them out. So on this set of stickies, I'm just going to print some sample uh, planner notes. This is, I'm going to set up another set of sticky notes. I'm going to print uh, designs on them. And when, when you take the notes off the pad, the, the manufacturer of these particular notes recommends that you pull from one, first from one side and then from the other side. And this is supposed to um, prevent curling which is kind of difficult because most people in an office situation are not going to take the time to do that. And I tried doing it, you know, quickly by grabbing two ends at one time, but that didn't work. So I'm going to put this first set of sticky notes into the printer and we will see what kind of result. Okay, so there's the first set of notes that I printed out on my printer using these stickies. So um, now I, I can always tell if um, if a sticky note is going to do well because it when I print here it has to adhere to this template then when you're when you're lining it up, generally you're going to be pulling it up two or three times to get it to adhere, and then it goes to the printer. And if you use it in your planner and it still sticks, then the adhesion is good. Now these, by the first when I oop, said this through the first time, my printer didn't jam; it just stopped printing. We're having some um, connectivity issues with our internet, so these two stickers were down, and they still have. If I put them right, well, let me get a camera. If I put them here and stick them down, they, they still stick. They stick really good. So I think the adhesion on these is excellent because I'm feeling the resistance on these. They're not just pulling up. They're, they're fighting back when I try to, you know, pull them. They're just not easily pulling away. So I think the adhesion is good. I think the paperweight is good as, as well. I imagine this is maybe like a 24. It's not a 20. So this might be a 24 pound paper. It's not a 28. Okay, so now we're going to try a different template and run that through. So now this is our second set of um, sticky notes and they printed just fine. So we'll zoom in on that. They printed just fine, and like I said, the adhesion is good. And so in my planner here, I have my notes, and it's a laminating pouch. And I take my um, sticky notes, and I stick them on here. So you can see this still has 
well, you can't see. Let me go up a little bit so that you can see. So this is still sticking, and it's been pulled up two or three times, and it still has a nice uh, adhesion. And also, I can say that these are not curling. I did use the side-to-side -side method that they recommended, and usually if they're going to start to curl, they'll, they'll start to curl pretty early in the game. This is the first sheet that we printed, and they're still flat. The, these are up because I've been fooling around with them, but you can see these over here are still flat, and they still look nice. So, for me, it's five stars. I wish, you know, I really wish that they had cardboard on the back of here instead of just the paper because it, um, it separates, and then you've got just a sticky back. But what I'll probably do is just cut some chipboard and, and uh, use some double-sided tape or something to adhere it, and then, you know, just lose that back part. But all in all, I think that these are uh, pretty good post-it notes.